what did you do once you got there? We got there, we got out of the car, we walked up to the door, me and Luke, and once we got to the door, I told him, I said, this is your dad's place, you need to go in first. And he went in first and I followed him. Okay. And can you tell us, first of all, where was Sean at this time? Sean was down by the car. Okay. So he did not walk up to the property with you or, or no. enter no. the residence? Where did you guys park? We parked behind the truck, Kenny's truck. Okay. And you know Kenny's truck? Yes. When you walked up to the residence, did you notice, uh, was the door unlocked? Yes. Okay. So you walked into the residence together and you said Luke was there first, but then you, and then what happened? And then we walked in, he, we walked into the, supposedly the living room. And I noticed to the right, I didn't see him in there nowhere, so I seen a stairway to the right, and I walked up the stairway, and that's where I found him up there in his bed. Okay. And when you say you found him, who did you find? I found Kenny. Can you tell us what condition you found him in? He had blood all over his eyes. And where was he located? In his bed. Okay. Did you believe him to be dead or alive at that time? He was dead. walked up those stairs and saw Kenneth? Yes. Okay. Um, when you saw him, first of all, did you touch him at all? No. Okay. So you did not touch the bed at all or move anything? No. Okay. Um, what did you do then? We went straight back out the door. Okay. And, and then what did you do? We, uh, well, when we was out on the porch, Luke asked me if I could help him get some of his <coughs> some things, and then we walked out to the building. He wanted us to walk out to the building. He thought maybe somebody might have been in the building. Okay. And where was the building located? Located outside the camper, beside the camper. Okay. And... Did you ever enter that building yourself? Just walk, open the door. Okay. And was there anybody in there? No. Okay. And did you see anything in there in the building itself? J just marijuana. Okay. So there was marijuana in that building? Yes. Okay. Um, did you touch or move anything in that building? No. Okay. And prior to that moment, did you know that there was marijuana in that building? No. Okay. Then what did you do? We, after I left the building, we went out and to the end of the driveway and I tried to call 911. I couldn't, so I had to drive up the road to call 911. Okay. So you, was it you personally trying to call 911? Yes. Okay. And... You said you couldn't. Why couldn't you? Every time I would try, it would default my call. It would kick my call off. Okay. So you weren't getting good cell phone service? No. Okay. And so you said you went up the road. Were you walking at this point or driving? We drove. You drove. Okay. And when you, 
exited the, uh, when you first went to the end of the driveway, were you driving at that point? Like you'd gotten back in the vehicle? We got back in the vehicle and backed out of the driveway. Okay, all right. And um, how far up the road did you have to go before you could make a call? A good 1,000, 1,500 feet. Okay. And then, was it you again that made the phone call? Yes. Yes. Okay. And what did you tell them? I called them and told them that I'd found Kenneth Roden dead in his home. Okay. All right. And then, um, did you stay there and wait for them to come? Yes. Please? Okay. Were you there when the police arrived? Yes. Did you ever go back into that location? No. Into his house? No. Or any of the structures? On the no. Okay. Um, yeah, okay. I guess. Yes. Um, Mr. Stone, I'm going to... Um, have them play the 911 call that you made that day. I just want you to listen to it, and then afterwards I'll ask you if you if you recognize it. Okay. Yeah, for the record, I'm going to play this external hard drive. It's got an exhibit sticker on it. Outside the exhibit sticker says video and audio on it. Inside. The hard drive, there are folders. There's a folder marked O, 911 calls the city state exhibit O2. On one call, conversation recorded on April 22nd, 2015 at 1326 on channel one. Do you recognize that phone call? Yes. Okay. And is that the 911 call that you made um, that afternoon um, on April 22nd of 2016? Yes. Okay. Um, Mr. Stone, you indicated on the 911 call that you believed it was a gunshot wound. What made you say that? It's just, there's extremely a lot of blood all over his face. 
Um, and you indicated on the 911 call that you hollered at Kenneth when you entered the residence? Okay. Yes. Um, while you were waiting, um, was there an individual that arrived 